buddies at Navely RT Baja here, hanging out today, playing some more Farming Simulator 17. Hope y'all enjoy this episode. If y'all do, be sure to give me a hell like button to show your support. And as always, you can subscribe for more weekly videos. Today, you guys, I'm wanting to get into the animals, doing some, uh, well, animal stuff. Um, it's something I've been wanting to get into for a while, but I never really had the money for it. But I kind of started selling off some of my, uh, some of the stuff I harvested. Uh, I just sold like 30,000, uh, units of beans, uh, all my sunflowers. Um, I made a little bit of money off that. So I went ahead and bought the equipment that I felt that I needed. Now I'm going to start off doing sheep. Something because they're the easiest animal to get started in. Because all I, all I need is grass and hay. Well, grass or hay, really. Um, there's a lot less of a hassle. Before we get into all that, I want to show y'all uh, this field right here. As you can see on the uh, map there where I'm at, and ain't got a number on it, it's in green. That's because this field here I created. I've made my own field. It's something I've always wanted to do. Uh, I've tried it several times on 15. Several times, but I never could get it right because you could not get it even on the turn rows. Um, it don't matter what I did, I just could not get it straight. But on here, you can. As you can see, uh, the field is mostly in the field. You know, I got a couple little hiccups here and there. But in all, I am very satisfied with it. I, mean, I think it turned out great. It's not a very big field. I uh, just harvested, harvested uh, some sunflowers off of it. I didn't get a whole lot of sunflowers. I, mean, I didn't even get a full uh, grain card of sunflowers. But I mean, it is some extra. It was a field I paid very little for. All I had to do was buy the roller and the uh, logging equipment I needed to get the uh, trees off of here. It had like nine or 10 trees on it, uh, like four over here, four or five over there. But man, I was able to lease all that stuff out. Uh, I actually did a video on it whenever I did this field, but something happened and I could, it didn't save. Uh, I don't know if something got corrupted or if my uh, Windows Movie Maker messed up, as it does a lot of. I need to get something better than it, but I'm, I'm broke. <laughs> I ain't making no money off off this YouTube and stuff. I'm just doing this for y'all's own uh y'all's own viewing pleasure. But that's what I got a full time job for. Anyway, um uh, I did get the uh, logging equipment. I rented it out, got a truck, trailer, um I didn't get the uh, big old Scorpion King to uh cut the trees down, I just got a little skid steer with a tree cutter on it. Took out the stumps. You know, very quick, very easy. Except for loading uh, some of the trees, so I had to be jerks and not load right. But in all, I am very satisfied with this. Um, right over here, I'll show y'all everything I used to uh, make this field. It's right in this, this little shop over here. This is it. That's all I needed to uh, create that field. Get your plow, set up to create field. Then use your roller to kind of square it back off. Uh, basically, use this as your pencil, that as your eraser. Draw the field out, then straighten it up. And like I said, it was, it was very easy. Um, I even went ahead and uh, made me a little road to loop back around right here because I'm just too lazy to go all the way over there, turn back in, get right here. I just been coming up through up in here, so I decided, why not build a road up through here? make it look a little nicer. Now, I wish they would make it to where you can actually make a road about like this. You now maybe come out with a uh, separate roller that will actually pack down the uh, pack all this down. But anyway that's, that's just something I'd like for them to add in. See over here got it all rounded off pretty good. I meant the spot when I was cultivating. But I mean it I'm thrilled with it. I, mean, I think it turned out great. It was very, very easy. Time consuming, but easy. Now, the uh, the sheep stuff. I want to come over here to the shop. There we go, enter this. Show you all the stuff I bought. I bought the uh, old New Holland. Went ahead and bought it. Got the oversized tires on it because I like bigger tires. Also got the uh, forklift attachment for it if I ever need to uh, put a forklift on it. I got a uh, telehandler right here. Went ahead and bought it. 
because uh, I bought another trailer and truck that I'm using as my fertilizer wagon. I got all my uh, chemical pallets on it. Wait, no, it's my seed trailer. I got a got a separate truck and trailer that I use for my seed pallets. And I'll show you all that here in just a second, probably. But yeah, I went and just bought that little tractor, got it set up if I ever need a uh, front end loader over there at the sheep fields. And since I just need grass, I just bought a, bought a uh, mower and one of these uh, loading wagons. <clears throat> loading wagons. Um, nope, small, cheap, and not going to have a whole lot of uh, sheep starting out. No, just something small. Get me started. Very basic stuff. Go ahead and hop in here. You're going to have to have water for the uh, for all your animals. So that's what this is for. Uh, this is your uh, water uh, trailer. Yeah, I love this truck. Now, a lot of people give this truck some uh, flack. I mean, they talk about how it ain't got no power. It's slow. Da-da-da-da-da. I think this is the best truck on the game. I mean, you put that 200 motor in it, this thing will scoot, and it will pull. Now, I think this truck here is every bit as fast as that uh, other truck. Okay, here we go. This is the... Uh, first truck we did and I got my uh, chemical pallets on it. I actually went and bought some more and I had a total of 14 pallets on here and this truck pulled it from the shop all the way here. Up the hills and everything. Only place I ran into a problem with was that uh, train track where it crosses the road right there. This tire over here would get hung up. It's not, not the truck's fault, it's the trailer. That one tire there would get hung up. I didn't because the way I had it loaded because I had so much more weight over on this side than I did over here. I mean, you can look at it. This side here, all the pallets are nicely on the trailer. This side here, they're all kind of sticking out over the trailer. So there's one thing to watch out for. You know, whenever you load them, uh, these pallets up, make sure you get them all pretty well even. I was going to try loading 28 of these dudes up on here just to really put that truck to a test. But... This side of the trailer here just got the leaning so much that uh, I didn't want to didn't want to try it. This truck over here, I've got let's see, it can be 14, 21 uh, seed pallets on it, and this truck pulled it like a champ, no problems at all. In fact, I had two more seed pallets of seed in the back of the truck, and it did struggle with it. Uh, with them two in the back. It really pulled the truck down. But once I got the, them two in the back off, it it scooted. It did just fine. But yeah, I am really, really pleased with the, uh, I don't know if you pronounce it Rodeo or Rodeo. I call it the Rodeo. But I am very pleased with this truck and trailer setup. I mean, it it does everything for me. over here, put some uh, water in the trailer. Okay, yeah, now the truck knows that it's actually pulling something. Crap. Ooh, from was off the ground. 
There we go. He's trading back up. I don't know why I didn't uh, go around that pole. Why didn't I turn? Crap, I thought I was going to take me back to my sheep field. Woo -hoo -hoo. these takes the water. I think it's going to be that one over there. Nope, this isn't right here. Okay, they've got their water. Now I'm going to park this trailer somewhere out of the way. Probably just park it there next to that little building. Do fine. I'll come right here where I got one of these trailers here already set up. I'm not gonna worry about putting the truck up right now. Well, I probably should go ahead and put the truck up. Yeah, I shouldn't be in the way of any uh, wool pallets that come up. This is where they're going to drop the wool pallets, as you can see, right there. It's where they'll be putting the pallets at. Right here is where I would uh, put the animals if I were to transport them, which I'm not going to do. Simply because I ain't got nothing to transport them with. I could have bought something, but I didn't. Okay, go ahead and get this. And I'm going to work this, take this tractor here on back to the uh, sheep field. So while I'm on my way back there, I'm going to go ahead and uh, be cutting some grass with it. And I'm not going to bring all along with that. It's going to take me forever to get back there to the sheep. So uh, when I get back there to the sheep, I'll bring it right back. BRBs. And we made it, guys. Uh, it didn't take me nearly as long to get there as I thought it would. And the shop really ain't put just like right, right over there. I mean, not far at all. So I went ahead and got about 8,000 liters of uh, grass. Hopefully that'll be enough to fill this thing up and have some left over. I can get so I can fill it. Oh, God, I pushed the wrong button, no wonder. Oh, yeah. I've got plenty for more. I'm just going to set this dude up right there for now. Then you're going to come over to, where's it at, right here? To the animal dealer. Where I should be able to by animals. Where can I buy animals? Ah, there we go. Sheep, okay, so I got about six thousand dollars. Four thousand apiece. Oh uh, uh. buy ten of them, that's gonna bring me down pretty low. Pretty low. Oh, I probably won't get to like five for now. That's gonna cost twenty-one thousand dollars. That's gonna brown it down to uh, less than thirty, I think. Thirty-eight. Let's buy two more. Okay, that should be good. Now, come back to my sheep farm. Sheep farm, there we go. One sheep, two sheep, three sheep, four sheep, five sheep. 
Uh, I thought I got six. Can I get six sheep? One, two, three, four, five. Maybe the other one will come in. Um, there we go. We got sheep. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, animal page. Here we go. Cleanliness, 100%. Water, good. Hay, good. No wool. Productivity, is that nothing? Uh, so I think what I'm going to do is turn it up a little bit. Turn the time up. Game settings turn up to about 60. Let that do its thing. Gonna let them do their thing. Uh, go get some stuff done. Probably gonna go ahead and uh, cut this field here for this guy so I can get a little, a little bit of money going again. <laughs> Maybe get some more sheep. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take care of some stuff. And whenever the sheep start doing stuff, I'll bring out right back. BRBs. And we're back, everybody. Uh, just want to come in and show y'all something uh, that I just found out. Uh, right here on the uh, animals page, you got cleanliness deal right here. As you see, this here's none dropped down to 85 already. But um, I was one trying to figure out now how do I clean my animals. Then I got to read, and it's about their their eating area. So that right there is probably about the only thing that's pulling the uh, cleanliness down. Let's see what's it down to? 85 percent. Oop, jump in here, turn a forage wagon on, pick, pick this here up, okay, just show that I picked it up, see what it looks like now, back up to 100%. So basically that's all the cleanliness is, you know, just keep their feeding area clean, so if it like, I guess something just spills out as they're eating and you just come through here with the uh, loading wagon, pick it all back up. Come over here, check out the uh, wool that I've produced. Yeah, it's just that little bitty bit. Oh, uh, what's how much I got? Seven percent. Dang. Got everything else still doing all right. Got yeah, things about all it is to the sheep, you know. Just give them some grass, give them water. Every once in a while, come through here with a loading wagon, pick up the grass that they spill, and they'll be all nice, fat, and happy. Probably gonna get me a couple more heads of sheep so I can be producing more wool faster. Because me only five sheep, it, it's taking its sweet time. Oh, dang, this is already ready to cut again. I don't worry about that later. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to show y'all, tell y'all about. I think that's it. I mean, these, these sheep, they're pretty easy to uh, take care of. I mean, like I said, just food and water, keep it clean. They're good. I can do it with, the, with very basic stuff. Just need to get more money so I can get more heads. But yeah, I think that's all, all it is, you guys. Uh, hope y'all enjoyed this episode. Uh, if y'all did, be sure to give me a hell of a like button to show your support. And as always, you can subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all next time.